What's up, Impact Nation? This is Maverick Mercenary. You can call me Impact Maverick, whatever tickles your pickle. And today I'm bringing you a commentary over another beastly gameplay, and this is by the one and only Impact Lynx. He's going ham as he gets a double DNA bomb with two kills off the vicious, two kills off the triple vicious metal, and he's playing some uplink on the map Riot using the ASM1. He's going completely ham in this gameplay, so definitely go check out his channel because you will not be disappointed by the content he produces. He's an absolute beast, and he's one of our leaders, so you definitely have to check him out. He just posts awesome videos, awesome content. You guys will not be upset by what you see on his channel. If you do like this commentary in any way, you can check my channel out. Link to it is down in the description below. And today in this commentary, I'm actually going to be talking about pub stomping. And I'm going to be talking about if I think pub stomping is dying. Now, pub stomping definitely isn't as big as the sniping community, as they have like FaZe and all those people. And FaZe has like over 2 million subscribers and they're a clan channel. They have pretty big members in the sniping community like Pimage or Rain, FaZe Rain or all those people really that you get to see in the sniping community that have over 1 million subscribers. With that being said, pub stomping is on a much smaller level although it is similar in a way to sniping where you have clans and teams and stuff like that but I personally think pub stomping is more of a challenging thing in my opinion. I've gotten a couple sniping clips here and there, but I never get good enough gameplays for pub stomping because for pub stomping, you need to get like a full like gameplay. You can't just get one clip and a couple clips and then they put it into an edit and then it's all good. Now you need to get a pretty decent gameplay and a pretty awesome gameplay if you want to be on a pub stomping clan channel. And that is what we do here on Impact. But the biggest clan, I believe, in the pub stomping community is Carnage, which has over 140,000 subscribers now. And that is about as big as we get. Now, with that being said, we used to have Amp and Doom before it got shut down and stuff like that. But Carnage right now is the biggest. Then we have, like, OP and people like that. And pub stomping is definitely not a big 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 community but there are a lot of members in the pub stomping community because it brings in commentators and players as well as a few editors here and there and just people in general GFX people all those kinds of people that come into the pub stomping community so in terms of the amount of people involved in the pub stomping community I think it's pretty big but not but definitely not as big as the sniping community but I mean well, hey pub stomping is really fun and I believe it takes a lot of skill now pub stomping in my opinion I don't think is dying because it's still growing impact nation is still growing in subscribers carnage clan is still growing in subscribers doom is growing in subscribers volt is growing in subscribers Rush, Razor, all these kinds of clans are gaining subscribers. They are gaining exposure and more and more people are watching their videos. Now with that being said, sure there's not a pub stomping clan out there, clan channel, that gets over 100,000 views a video or anything along those lines, but you gotta put in perspective that Pub stomping is still just a small portion of the Call of Duty community. But I believe that if they put elements in the game which make it fun and really enjoyable and people grind and they get awesome gameplays, I think the pub stomping community can really grow. In my opinion, Modern Warfare 3 was one of the Call of Duties that really kind of exploded the Call of Duty like pub stomping community. You saw like J Nasty rise up. And all those people out there that were pub stompers and when they got to Modern Warfare 3, their channel just exploded and stuff like that. And that's kind of how it went with pub stomping in Modern Warfare 3. And then Ghosts, I mean, there was still a good portion of people watching pub stomping and stuff. 
but it didn't really grow that much. Black Ops 2, it did grow quite a bit. And Advanced Warfare, I feel like it's growing a little bit. It's not growing nearly as much as some of the other Call of Duties, but I have a feeling that Advanced Warfare, by the time we get further in the game when the DLCs release and stuff like that, I think the pub stomping community is going to be a pretty decent size compared to what it has been. And I think there's going to be a lot more people watching the videos and a lot more active subscribers and active viewers and stuff like that on all the clan channels and on the pub stomping players channels as well and that's something you just got to think about that a community sure it can decrease in size but for the most part a community is mainly going to grow in size and so i think the pub stomping community and the next call of duty is to come if call of duty is still good if they don't put a bunch of bs in the game if they just make the game how the community wants it not just how pro players want it but how the overall community wants it then i think the pub stomping community can grow a lot because if they put a dna bomb a chem strike a Moab, something like that in the game, it's going to be way more much of a pub stomping factor than if you have Call of Duty 4 with no superior kill streak or anything like that, or kill reward. And Black Ops 2, it had a lot of pub stomping, people going for high gun streaks, 200 pluses, nuclears and stuff like that. But the nuclear definitely wasn't as fun to get as, let's say, a DNA bomb or a Moab or something like that. And that's something you gotta put into factor with the pub stomping immunity. If they put factors, if they put elements into each Call of Duty game that people like, that has the pub stomping factor in it, that puts elements that the pub stomping community likes in the game, then the pub stomping community will grow. And... Advanced Warfare right now, I have had a lot of friends start watching pub stomping videos that used to watch mainly just sniping videos. They're starting to watch pub stomping videos because they see, hey, a DNA bomb, I, I want to see what this is. So they watch it and then they see, oh, all these guys are going absolutely ham. Maybe I want to do it. And then they get kind of introduced to to the pub stomping community and maybe they get involved in it in some way whether it be gfx or being a commentator or being a player themselves or just leading a clan or something like that and that's something that you just got to put in factor if a call of duty game has elements that the casual players like and that rewards you for doing excellence definitely pub stomping is going to grow but if it's just a call of duty game that has no really good kill streaks or score streaks, and that just is boring to play and dies out after a couple months, no one's really going to want to be involved in the pub stomping community for that game, and generally it's going to draw people away because, the yeah, sure, he got 100+, plus, but he didn't call anything awesome in. It wasn't that action-packed or whatnot. And that's what you got to kind of see in the pub stomping community is that People want to see awesome gameplays and just awesomeness all around in the pub stomping community. And that's how the pub stomping community is going to grow. I personally don't think the pub stomping community is going to, is going to die out, but it might eventually. Obviously, it's going to come to an end sometime. But tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm Maverick Mercenary. Hopefully, you liked the video. Peace out.